Good evening and welcome back to Slay the Spire. I'm Odi Apparatus. We're back at the end of our very first area here. Apparently when we save the game and log off, it saves right before we get the chest, not after it. So we get to open this chest a second time here. Let's review what we have here quick. We have the Burning Blood based on our Ironclad class, which gives us 6 HP at the end of combat. We have every 10th attack gives us double damage. We have a Gremlin Horn, which gives us energy every time an enemy dies and we draw one card. This is a fantastically powerful item. We also have the Juzu Belt Bracelet. We no longer encounter enemies in the question mark room, so those are relatively safe then. And then uh, Vulnerable gets 25% more damage rather than 50% more damage when we're vulnerable. And when we have Vulnerable on them, they take more damage. So it's fantastic for Vulnerable now. We are also full on potions, dexterity, fire potion, and three cards. Let's open the chest here and I forget what we have in here. We have the cursed key. Gain, gain energy at the start of each turn. Whenever you open the chest, obtain a curse. Curse cards are negative cards that stay in your deck. So, uh, we, last time we took the astrolabe, upon pickup, choose and transform three cards and upgrade them. Uh, transformed cards become a random, a random card of any rarity, rarity. And upgrading cards makes them more powerful, but cards can only be upgraded once. And then we had the uh, Sozu gain energy at the start of each turn. You can no longer use potions. So actually, someone said that the cursed key is not that bad an item. The curses that we get in our deck are removable a lot of times. And uh, the energy, the ener additional energy at the start of each turn is fantastic. It'll give us four energy to play instead of three energy to play. Plus the bonuses from this guy. So we're going to rewrite history here. We're going to go with the cursed key instead of the astrolabe based on what people have said in the comments. So we'll give it a try. If it curses our entire run, well, we'll see. So the cursed key adds a curse on every time we open a chest. But we don't open that many chests, for one thing. I don't think it matters. I think it only means these chests like right here. These chests. We can always skip those if we want to, if we get into a big problem here. But uh, the plus energy is going to be fantastically uh, useful. So we have 118 gold. We should probably consider a merchant, maybe. Let's go through this route here. This is a pretty straight path, though. We go this route, we have the option. We have to go through a monster here and a monster here. We get to there, and we have two more, and then the, the, the rest point. That's going to be a pretty tough spot to rest at. I think maybe sticking to the right-hand path might be the best way to go. So I'm going to go with this monster here. We're going to go to question mark, then another monster two question marks then we can choose to fight more monsters or go to the, the rest stop I think that's the way to do it let's try it all right so we got some flying beasts here they're just birds just regular birds uh they have a flight buff which cancels damage taken by 50 percent and cancel this dealt the attack damage three times in one and dealt attack damage three times in one turn they can we can cancel their flight so they can fall if we do this so we have one guy attacking as a once times five. He's an attack for five damage, and they have some buffs coming in here too. So let's uh let's see. We have, if we attack, so if we attack one of these guys three times in one turn, we will get a we will knock them out of the sky, it sounds like. I think it's not a bad idea. We have four energy. We can play a little block here to block five of that damage. So it's a one times five attack, right? One damage five times, yeah, yeah. So let's attack him three times. Let's save the seeing red for a later turn here. That should knock him down if, if, yep, weird flight wears off. Okay, awesome. And he's on the ground. Stunned also. That's good to know. And I'm going to wait on seeing red until we absolutely need it because it's not going to really do us to gain much energy right now. So, end the turn. He's stunned. Okay, that's good to know. Broke through our armor, but not much else. Caw, caw. He's boosting strength. So this is the next guy I want to attack here. He's going to get two times five now. This guy's doing 12 damage. Okay, geez. Uh, let's get Apotheosis up there. That's his bonus for everything here. Deals 12 damage. This kills the enemy. Gain four permanent HP. We have to hang on to that one. Uh, deals five damage to all enemies and heals for unblocked damage. Do we need the healing? Not right now. This is an exhaust card too for Reaper. Uh, Bash. Does it deals 10 damage and then vulnerable for three turns. Hmm. Well, if we play this and then this, we actually get this guy killed. Then we'll also draw a card and get an extra energy back. But we need to be able to attack somebody in three turns if we want to get rid of their flight. 
Also, we get an interrupt here too. So we could do all three attacks on him. And this won't kill him because he's going to block a lot of this damage. So it's only going to do half damage. But getting that guy out of the way and on the ground, because look at this guy, he only has three damage now. Well, I definitely think we should try to kill something. This is going to be five, only worth five. This will only be worth four and a half. So it's only nine damage. So we need to attack this guy if we want to get an extra turn. So if we... Well, let's see. We play this first. And we play this. We get the bonus health upgrade forever. So we get 84 now. We also draw an extra card because of the, the uh, gremlin horn. And now we get... Uh, <clears throat> well... Let's see. This will be eight block. I should probably add that on. And then hang on to this for another turn, maybe. Because we're not going to be able to get the half damage on these, these guys this time around. Let's block it and let's get vulnerable on one of these guys here. I think probably want vulnerable on him back here. He's getting strength. And if that sticks around for a turn here. We'll see. All right, let's hold on to that one for now. In case we need healing later. That's worth 10. All right. So, um, if we get this power out of our hand, we can play this clash card. When we do three attacks, we can knock this guy down. We have one, two, th that's four right there. We need to be able to play this one too, though. Okay, so this will do 14 damage. It'll actually only do 7 to the flying guys here. Um, but if we do 3 attacks in one turn, we can knock him out of the sky and interrupt his attack here too. So let's do that. And actually, this will do enough to kill him probably. And we can take the card back out of our hand here. Let's play this one. So the next turn, we can play that and then get some health back. And we have one more energy, so we can actually get that one. Oh, we can't get it back, though. Let's get this on, and then we'll get this one on. We actually can't play that one, because we do draw a card, because we killed a guy. And we need one more energy to play that, unfortunately. So, plan did not quite work there. <clears throat> but, that's alright. Broke through it, and we took a little damage there. Alright. Three damage to a random enemy. Gain four strength. Well, with that alone, we might be able to, we might be able to do him in. Let's get the strength. So we'll do 13 damage to him. That'll only be worth six. This will be worth um, three of the damage to this guy right now. But that is good enough. Is that enough? Technically, it's enough to knock him down. That's a good card for this. All right. Interrupts his attack. Can't do much. Stunned. We just need one measly attack. All right. There we go. All right. We got a little health back there. We're back to 75 of, of that. And add a card if we want. Deal six damage. Deals two damage for each strike card in your hand. Draw a pile and discard pile. So every strike card we have, we get two damage for. Interesting. Deal two damage four times or gain five block upgrade a card for the rest of your hand in your hand for the rest of combat. Now, this is not that useful of a card because we can't upgrade cards more than once. So the gain five block is great for one health for one energy. It's not that good, actually. Pummel is probably the most useful one here to deal two damage four times for enemies like we just faced. This would actually be pretty cool. All right. So we have an unknown. You duck into a small hut. Inside, you find what appears to be a forge. The smithing tools are covered with dust, yet a fire roars inside the furnace. You feel on edge. Uh, we can upgrade a card, become cursed with an inquiry. It's an unplayable card. Or obtain a relic. 75 with normality. Uh, you cannot play more than three cards per turn. Oof. 
Relics are pretty useful, though. That's a 75% chance. Well, given that we have the, that, that uh, card, I think relics are the best way forward here. So, you can't find anything of use after uncovering tarps and looking through boxes, checking nooks and crannies. You find a dust-covered relic. You can't shake this ugly feeling you as you exit the hut. It exits the hut. Maybe you disturb some sort of spirit. Okay, so we got a relic. Did we not get a relic? Oh, we got a relic. We got a strange spoon. Cards with exhaust when played will instead discard 50% of the time. And okay, so the exhaust means it's removed to the account. So it's just explaining exhaust. I was thinking, does the spoon is removed itself? No, it's not. So that means that our exhaust cards are more powerful. That is pretty, actually pretty cool. All right, moving on. We got a plated armor. Shell Parasite. And this means he gains 14 block at the end of its turn. Taking damage reduces plated arm by, by one. Okay. So I mean, this is basically if we as he takes damage, this is gonna reduce. But he gets it. If we don't take down all of his armor, it comes back, it sounds like. Well, let's play. This is worth eight. This is worth three damage to the ran, random enemy three times. So that's nine damage worth nine damage to him. And we'll play this one to get the block at the end of our turn. That should block some of it. And then we'll see where we're at after that. Okay, so now we need to definitely break his armor here if we can. Uh, let's do this. So we, every time we break the plated, every time we break the block. Um, oh wait, taking damage reduces the play block. So if we do this now. So reduced his we just reduced his overall blocking ability okay that's good now he's gonna gain nine block instead of just the normal cool i like it i like it. it's cool kind of cool cool little mechanic all right got us for a few points there um we need to wait on that one here oh man this never comes up when we need it same with all these this is not a good turn and do 18 plus a status damage to us let's get that up there um we have no way of getting through that armor right now this isn't going to do us any good if i gain four strength it's going to do maybe eight damage at the most not even it's gonna do like six seven damage only not enough to get through his armor not worth it to play those cards so we just got to ride it out this turn he's gonna do eight damage to us plus a status no, we got 14, so only 4 damage. Forgot about that. <clears throat> Alright, so we also got Vulnerable. Or no, it's, uh, Rail. So we get, uh, less block for, for, turn, for two turns. That's okay. I think we can focus on doing some damage here. So if we do this, apply that, and... Let's deal 9 damage, place a card from your discard pile on top of your draw pile. And let's get that strength card back, I think, maybe. So we play next turn. Get some block back, at least. He's doing nine. And not enough energy. Okay. And so we'll have seven, then. So he's going to do two damage. That's not bad. And he's going to get seven block back. All right, there's our strength. Apotheosis. So this, the upgraded cards don't upgrade with Apotheosis. Um, unplayable cards cannot be played from your hand. More than three. Okay. That was one. There's two. And here's three. That's worth it so it doesn't get the armor coming back. And... Only play card, three cards per turn. Okay. And this is only when it's in our hand. So it's not that bad. I think the item's worth it, actually. So you get six back again. And our frail wore off. That's good. Okay, every card in our, our hand is an attack damage. Um, if it kills the enemy, get... Okay, yeah, that's good. Uh, we're not going to get that, though, this turn. We have one, two, three points of damage in our hand, so we can do nine. That weakens him. Uh, we can do 18 on him. Takes him down to 2. And then we can play this for the permanent health upgrade. Max HP up to 4. 
10 gold and more cards. Okay, so exhaust all non-attack cards in your hand and gain seven block for each. Kind of a helpful card here. This is the same thing here. It can only be played if every card in your hand is an attack. We have a lot of attack in our hands. I'm kind of tempted. The second wind is very useful with Clash. Both these would be this would be useful in tandem. Because this, this gets rid of all non-attack cards in our hand. And we get seven block for each. Then we can play these cards instead. In the right situation, that'd be very, very good. But I don't know. I think I might just go with Clash. Because we have so many attack cards now. I probably should have gone to the question mark. Oh, well. We got three cultists. Um, oh, we got another huge attack here coming up. Can only be played as every card in your hand is an attack. So we can't play it right now until we get rid of this guy. That's fine. Uh, I don't know if which one of these guys we should go after first. Maybe the low lowest health one. And then we can play the rest of these. Almost there. Let's see what he's going to do. These guys always play strength, right? They do their incantation. Yeah, this is going to be a brutal attack once they start leveling up a little bit. Because these gain strength, three strength at the end of every turn. Let's do Apotheosis. Ooh, can I not play this card now? Let's play this because we only can play three cards this turn anyways. Yeah, so this is this is blocking this card from being played. We get one more energy, we can't play any more cards. Well, let's not take any risks here. Play that. And we can't play anything else this turn. <clears throat> this normality card is not great. Okay, now they're gonna get strength in their turn. So their attacks are even worse. All right, let's go do here. You have, uh, one, two, three, four, five in our hand right now. So we're playing seeing red will help right now. Exhausted that one. Probably can't play this one though. Probably shouldn't anyways. Uh, 14 damage. It's not going to do enough. Get that out there. Let's get this out there. And do we want to exhaust this one or do we want to I want to I want to hang on to it because there was a chance we might be able to get their max HP a little higher even. And we can't kill him with this anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So let's hold off on that. Enter. You can block one of these attacks. We've almost got him dead. All right, we're all hanging in there. Ooh, this is good. Um, let's do five damage to all enemies and get 10 health back. Play this as well. Then we can play this. Play not enough energy for that one, but we can play this guy for 18. Get energy back and a card. And we can choose to do more block, which is eight. That'll take us to 16. That'll be enough to block him out. Let's do it. Not take any more damage here. And next turn. There we go. And next attack does double damage, so we'll wait for a good one here. Okay, this is 20 damage invulnerable for three turns. And that's gonna be pretty good here. Um, we have two more plays here, so let's play the block to block some of that damage. And let's do a strike. All right, he's down to 13. He's going to do 17 to us. We're going to block. We're going to get another 12 because okay, so we block. We have a five damage going through. Not too bad. Next turn is going to be very, very difficult. So we need 13 damage here. If we kill him, we can get 
So let's see, this 14 damage is not good enough. 12 damage is exactly what we need to do here. We need to do 12. No, did we do extra damage to him? Oh, was he vulnerable? That's why I think. Never mind. Um, dexterity potion we can't take. We probably should have uh, hung on to that. Oh well. Deal seven to all enemies for one. Oh, this would be a nice. This would be a nice one actually. So this is gain nine block exhausted card in your hand. If we get this at the same time as that curse card, we can remove it. And we're going to get more curse cards. So I think this is a good one to have. And we got to skip the potion, unfortunately. All right. Yeah, okay. Skip the potion. Thank you. All right. Moving on here. And we get a question mark. This time you've come across an ornate building, which appears to be abandoned. The plaque that has been torn free from the wall and its floor reads the library. Inside you find countless rows of scrolls, manuscripts, and books. You pick one. And cozy yourself into a chair for, for some quiet time. Um, add a card or sleep. I think we're gonna... Okay, if we... I'm just trying to think if we want to... If we sleep, we'll get 29 health back. And that'll take us back to full. Right? We're uh, 33 down. So it's almost full. If we add a card... Could be random, could be useful, could be not be useful. Um, can we use the smithy on the, the fire? The next place is the fire uh, campfire. If we use the smith, it's going to let us upgrade our cards. We really don't need that. I think let's add a card here. Oh, add a, we can add any card to our deck. Oh my god. Interesting. Like, this is, this is a lot of options. Exhaust, exhaust all non-attack cards in your hand and deal 16 damage. Interesting. Um, <clears throat> at the end of your turn, each attack played this turn will deal one damage to all enemies. Interesting. Uh, one damage and apply vulnerable to all enemies. Just gain two strength. I think that's useful right there. For one. Exhaust one card, draw two cards. It might be useful for the curse also. I'm just trying to find a way to get curses out of our hands. I think we can do that. We can. I think we can use these to exhaust curse cards. And they'll come back each round, but... I think I'm going to try this. Yeah, I'm going to try it. The story is about a man who journeyed beyond the stars and found himself stuck on a desolate foreign planet. Ingenuity, luck, preservation, and humor to retain his sanity were his tools to return home. Fascinating. Here we're going to rest. Get our health back. We're now at 81. Okay. Proceed. And then we're going to go question mark again. We do question mark again. We got another campfire coming up. We got an elite. I don't know. I think we take the question mark because that's that's something rare we have. That item we have is something cool. A man with an eye patch and a devilish grin casually strides up to you. Hey there, stranger. Interested in some jacks? I'll make you stronger than any training or blessing. It's going to need to help one of those heroes with a death wish. What do you say? You want to get jaxed? Oh, I want to get jaxed. Jax is you get three HP and gain two strength and exhaust. Oh, man. Performance enhancing drugs. That's what we got going on here right now. Three HP and two strength is probably worth it because a, two more strength could end our, our battles a lot sooner. So I think I'm going to try it. Let's get hooked. The man hands over a dangerous looking syringe filled with a glowing liquid before sulking off into a shadowy alleyway. All right. Do we fight an elite is the next question. 
If we fight an elite, there's a chance we get a relic. We're at full health. We have another campfire coming up soonish. Let's see. If we have if, if we do badly here, we got a, a thing here. We got a regular enemy here. Pretty much nothing here. Okay, so we got one, two enemies to get through still, technically. At the mid, the minimum. <clears throat> if we want to go that route. Eh, let's take on an elite. Let's take on an elite. All right, here we go. All right, so we can only play three this turn. And we can't play that one at all. I think we get to get this one out there right away. Uh, let's deal the six damage. Let's see. Who do we do it? Deal it to? Slaver, Slaver boss, and Slaver. Hmm. I don't want to have a copy of an, a lower anger card in our deck, though. Let's play this. And we'll try to kill this guy off first. I guess we'll hit him with it. Alright. And we can't do anything else with this stuff. Break. Oof. Wounds. Okay. And vulnerable. All right. So we are a little bit weaker. If we do this, we get we'll get nine health back, and they're gonna do a lot more to us. Just play this here first, I think. Now we can play this. Onto him. Hmm. Should I just take the nine health or should I wait for... They're going to put more status on me, so... And they're doing a lot of damage. Holy moly. Alright, remind me never to fight an elite again. Um, let's give this one back and maybe we can kill him next turn. If we survive, he's going to do 25 plus another 16 damage to us. I mean, we're going to be, we're going to be in pretty rough shape here. Ouch. Big ouch. Little ouch. Okay. We can't, we can't survive another turn like that. Vulnerable wears off at least. That's good. Um, uh, Apotheosis, of course. Let's get Strength out there. Let's get the Block out there. And then we can take out, uh... We can take out this guy and get an Energy back and draw a card. Deal 6 damage 5 times and Exhaust. Okay. There we go, and and we get another card then, and we can't really play that one though. Doesn't help us at all. Hey, we we survived this one. That's good. And we get uh, another four block back. Oh, we just did. So we only took two damage on that. Not bad. All right, so we might be able to play this one here. Let's see. Apply ten damage and three vulnerable. only worth 18. <clears throat> okay, so if we do through this one, it's three damage four times. Let's get it out there. Not enough. Okay, let's hold off on this. We might be able to pull it back next turn here. Another wound. Here's our jacks. Hmm. Um. Let's see if we play this one. We get two strength. And it's going to boost our damage up with that. 
We'll lose 3 HP. That's not a big deal. This is going to do 36 damage to him. Oh, you know what I can do? I should play this first. So we can draw three and see if we can get that card that gives us... Uh, We don't get the extra max HP. Okay. It's hoping I can maybe heal back a little bit here, but maybe not. All right. Um, this will do the job though. Absolutely. All right. Back up to 40 and we got the bag of preparation. Nice. Add a card. This could be powerful. Double tap. <clears throat> draw two cards and place a card on top of your hand into your draw pile exhaust. Place a card from the top of your hand in your draw pile. Place the card from your hand on top of the draw pile. Okay. So we can play, we can draw two cards, place a card in our back in it basically. I think double tap is more fun. And we get an item. We also get a curse. Okay. We gain one week. We get the oddly smooth stone, one dexterity. Because it's more block. All right. Fantastic. So given that we are at pretty much half health right now, I think I want to go the route that's going to have the least amount of enemies. We have one here, then the merchant, then this is nothing, then here, and then this is nothing, and then here. So we can actually go this way, do one more battle right now. If we survive it, we're in clear sailing pretty much. Well, within reason. All right. So we have a Sneko. He's got a negative effect on the way here. We have our jacks in our hand for three HP. It's not that bad. We have a lot of cards to play this time around. We can only play three though. Oh man. Always works that way. Okay, so what should we play? This we should wait on. He's not going to attack us with anything right now. We should play vulnerable. We should play that one. We should play this one. Let's play this one first. It's the bonus. Uh, damage to us and that card did not exhaust it looks like yes the spoon activated so we get the more attack we will get more strength here in a minute so let's apply the vulnerable that'll help us long term and then we have one more card to play here still and blocks not gonna help us I guess we'll just do the eight damage for, for a strike all right what's he gonna do perplexing glare and he gave us confusion whenever you draw a card randomize the cost interesting so first of all apotheosis is awesome and we can exhaust one card and draw three cards hmm well he's gonna give us 14 damage here so I think I should probably exhaust this this uh strike card here and we'll confirm that then we'll put anger here at the end Get that back in and then we can grab a card back out and what do we want to grab here probably this can i not grab that oh and turn okay i don't know why i did that okay never mind mr red i thought we were grabbing a car that just here pile all right so now we still have the confusion going on here so our Stuff is oddly expensive. Um, can't do anything with that. We can do four damage five times for 20. That's not bad. And nine blocks. Should probably play both of those. So let's play this guy here first. Get the block on there. Hang on to this for later. And at the end of the turn, you gain one week. All right, end it. We're now at 28. And... Heavy Blade will do 18. Ooh, here we go. Use this card to play your next turn twice. We could play this one and do 36 damage. All right? Yeah, should do that. And then play this guy twice. Out of five. 
and can't play it because we have an, a non attack card in our hand. We shouldn't play that. Could have played that one just right. All right, we'll take one more damage. Uh, we're gonna take seven damage here. Double tap, we're off. We've got a next turn here, though. Oof, we're low. We are low. Fifth turn. Uh, let's see. Fourteen damage to all enemies. Heal for unblocked damage. Dealt. So we heal back five. All right, better than nothing. Plus the six we normally get, so thirty-two. And yeah, we always forget to use our potions. I think I'll get rid of the dexterity. I think I'll get rid of the draw three. Take the strength potion. And add a card. Add two wound cards to your hand. Gain fifteen block. Interesting. Uh, deal six damage plus two for each strike card in her hand. That's not terrible. And this will upgrade probably to like four damage for each strike card in her hand. We have three. Can I see what's in her hand right now? So I have one, two, three, four, five in her hand. And then her discard pile. So let's say it'll be five times two then for 10. So 16 damage for this two point card. That's not bad. 15 for two wound? Maybe. I don't know. I think it will be a way to know. I think this is the more, this is the makes more sense for us. All right. We have a merchant. Ha ha. ha, ha. All right. What do you have today? Five damage twice, deal five, deal nine damage, place a card from our discard pile, and he loses two strength. And it, whenever you play an attack this turn, gain four block. Oh man, this turn. I mean, if that was always, that'd be amazing. And then your turn, lose one HP and deal four damage. I don't know about that one. Choose an exhaust, two cards in your hand, and exhaust. Whenever you apply a debuff to an enemy, take three damage. That's not two, they take three damage. I don't know about that one. Meat on the bone. If your HP is less than 50%, you get nine at the end of combat. Green catcher. Whenever you rest, you may add a card. Lantern. Card removal service. 75? No. I think we'll do something more fun. Whenever you play attack this turn, gain four block. I mean, at maximum, we have a lot of zero attacks. So that could get a bunch of block for us. Um, it sounds like fun. Otherwise, one HP for four damage is not terrible for 36 bucks. Let's go with this. Let's go with the skill. All right. And that is all I'm doing today for now. Proceed. Okay, so we need to get through two more. One more enemy, right? We got to get through this enemy and this, uh, this here and this enemy. Let's get through here first. Another merchant? Oh, hello. Okay, transform your hand exhaust. Wow. Ign innate, deal six damage to all enemies exhaust. You start your hand with this combat. Start your hand with this, start your hand with the combat. Okay, nice. Apply one week to all enemies and exhaust. Hmm, maybe. Draw a card and an extra card of that, an extra copy of that card. exhaust as soon as we play it so let's maybe need more gold for that one I can't buy it deal damage you do the current block that's kind of fun if we had a block build uh I think we'll go with this guy and leave all right proceed okay so we have one more enemy to get through as long as we survive this we are home free we'll get a bunch of health back here and then we'll have the boss okay we got a man eating plant who's malleable which means when attacked, the gain free block block increases as malleable is triggered, resets it to three at the start of your turn. Okay. So intimidate. Uh, we can only play three cards this round. 
He's gonna do okay. Let's play this first. That'll that'll weaken him up so he won't do as much damage to us. And he's gonna do 15 damage. So this will do 12 locked. We play both of those. Let's do that. Alright, so it'll do three damage to us and Ouch. All right, the weekend wars off. That's not very powerful, but he's right back. Um, heal for unblocked damage. With three damage on that one, though. Well, hold on. We can do this. This will do strength first here, and that'll get six health back. We can play this for two. Let's play this and this and this. All right, he got six block now, and he's going to do 21 damage to us now. Yikes. Yikes, this is not good. We need to find a way to interrupt him. Ouch. Damn. Let's do this card here. Drink that, and let's play this, throw this on him. Right away here. Uh, let's see. We have one, two, three, four in our hand. Okay. Three HP at this point is pretty dire. Get that out there. Um, this is not, well, you can play it. Doesn't really matter. The block's not really going to matter too much. Let's take the three damage. To make this this battle go faster, we can go like this then, and we'll do we'll do twenty damage to him with this, and Blake Brock Blake break Blake his block right down again, break his block right down again. Hopefully we can get him next turn here. What's he gonna do? Enfeebling spores. Oh God. Okay, so this is it. This is the end of us. If we can't do it here. We can't do it. So. We have seven. We have nine. That's not enough. That's not enough. We'll block some of the damage here. So he's going to do 21 again. That takes us up to 19 only. Ah, oh, we did so well here for a while. And now he's going to... We can't just place it into our hands. Block would be the thing that would save us here. Any block would save us here right now. That's so close. <sighs> That's too bad. We're going to get four, so let's get this back to 12. So, 12. We might survive. 12, 12 plus 11 will take us to 23. Oh my god, we're going to barely survive. Alright, come what may. <laughs> well, Pathiosis and eighteen damage plus three strike for each of them in her hand. Didn't matter. Oh my god, we're in such big trouble here. <clears throat> okay. No, I don't want any of these cards. I don't want any of those cards here. Skip cards. We have to go through here. Hopefully it's something that heals us back because we're going to go into the boss here with nothing. In front of you sits an altar to a forgotten god. Atop the altar sits an ornate female statue with arms outstretched. She calls to you, demanding sacrifice. Um. God. Uh, yeah, okay, great. At the end of your turn, take two damage. That would have killed us in the last, last round here. So we don't have 20 of HP to lose. Um, I guess we got to take the curse. You stand, lash out and smash the statue in front of you, breaking the magical hole the room has placed upon you. A dark veil echoes, a dark whale echoes around you, and you feel the cursed magic seep into your bones. Alright, let's rest. And hopefully get a big heal back here. 
Oh, it's not enough. That's not enough for a boss fight. This is just not enough. All right. Good luck. All right. We got the champ. Let's drink this. All right. So we're going to get one weekend of our turn here. Our next attack is going to do double. All right. Next attack does double. Okay. We can do flex first here. And do a lot of damage to him with this. Um, we need to be able to block some of this damage here, though. Let's exhaust this. Okay, then we don't get that. Cool. Let's get the flex out there. Let's get this out here. And heal back some health. That helps a lot. Let's do this. Oh, not enough energy. We have this, though. This is back, back, back up. And we can do that card here, too. All right. And get vulnerable. And 18 damage. All right. It's going to do 10 plus uh, something here. Negative effect. Let's see what happens. Face slap. Oof. Vulnerable and uh, frail, which gives us less block. Double tap means we can only play one thing here. Oh, here we go. Let's do this. Nice. That takes that out of play. We can play this card for double tap and attack twice with the heavy blade here then. Twenty-one. Nice. So that's forty-two with that one. He's gonna do twelve damage plus another thing here. Oh man. And he might do more damage because he's we have vulnerable on. I don't know if this is telling us the exact damage too. So we'll take the eighteen damage on that if that's the case. Plus we have the block though. All right, Apotheosis would be amazing. And uh, now, he, of course, he doesn't have any uh, damage into this now. I think we'll take the damage and get this extra strength here. Uh, the block does not matter. What do we want to get back? Double tap, maybe? Get the block does not matter. End turn. He's not going to do anything with block anyways. He's going to get his own strength back. 25. Holy moly. All right, let's play this first. And... So this will be worth 20. We can double tap with it. Otherwise, this will be worth 20, and we can double tap with that too. Uh, we need to get this out of our hand first. And that'll take us down to 10 damage on that one. Okay. So which one's a better play here? I guess it doesn't really matter. And then do this one for 40. Okay. And play this one. Oh, every card it does double. Oh my God. I misread that completely. Every card is doubled at this round. I should have waited when to play that one. Is that true? Your next two attacks are played. Oh, because it's upgraded once. That's why. Oh, the upgraded version is even cooler. All right. We're going to get any block back on that. I don't think we have that back yet. All right. Down to 24. We're doing great so far. No, we can't get that one gone, but we might want to play it anyways. We're going to take two damage here at the end. So we have our 10th attacks. We can do 22 with this one with the strike. I might play this one just so we can get the 28 damage out there. We have room in our... I don't think I'm going to worry about three damage. Or the four at max damage here. You've done it now. Great. Now he's going to be really angry. All right, we're going to take two damage. 
We've got him on halfway down at least. Oh, he's got more strength now. And now he's doing 22 to it. That's going to be enough to kill us. Okay. Well. Hey, whenever we play an attack this turn, we get two blocks. That's worth it. Um. <clears throat> so we should play this one. We should play this one. We should play this one. And that's it. So we got 12 block on that. He's gonna we're gonna be pretty low. We're gonna get four more. He's at 18. He's gonna do so that's uh what uh four, four damage to us? Not bad, 16 rather. And I didn't bad math wrong on that. So six damage to us. Die. Oh, that's a nice threat. Rut reshuffled in. Okay. Whenever you play an attack this turn, being six block, he's going to do a lot of 33 damage. Oh my God. All right. So let's play this. Doesn't hurt. Let's get this block out there. Let's get this block out there. And then we'll play this and hopefully survive. We're going to get six more block on top of that. So we have 17 plus 16 is not 33. It is 33. <laughs> we're going to die exactly. Exactly. Oh, wait, we get four more. So we're going to be on our last legs here. We still have to do 100. We have still have to do 117 damage to him still. Just barely survive and execute. Oh, my God. At four. All right. Well, he's giving us a second chance here. We can play all of our cards this time. This week only lasts for two turns. Okay. Well, we got a lot of damage in our hand here right now. It's going to be real close. I mean, we have enough damage. We could actually do this possibly. And our next attack is double. We might get it. We might be able to get it. What's he going to do? He's going to buff his strength. Holy cow. We might be able to do this. 40 damage. We need to get these three cards out of our hands. Eight damage times five. That's enough to get him. Oh my God. I can't believe we did that. Holy cow, guys. Oh my God. Add a card. Double your strength. Exhaust. Yes. Block no longer expires at the start of your turn. Yes. Or... Deal four damage to all enemies and heal for unblocked damage exhaust. Reaper's awesome. Block not expiring is even better though. Double our strength. I'm just, these are all so good. These are all so good. Um, we have cards. Let's see. We have cards that boost our strength. We have this guy. We have. That one is temporary. Flex is temporary. Um, I think what we want to do is take the barricade. Oh, barricade's three, three costs though. If we use our apotheosis, I think it takes it down to two costs versus double our strength being one cost. Or Reaper being two cost. That's a heal. Question is, is heal more important than block? I think I might heal. I might regret it. Barricade might have been the better choice there. We'll proceed. And uh, we can open the chest. We get a relic. It was... Oh, wait, what was that card here? It was... At the end of your turn, lose one HP for each card in your hand. Okay, that's not too bad. We can get a rune, a runic cube. When your HP is lose one HP, you draw one card. We can get a runic pyramid. At the end of your turn, you no longer discard your hand. Ooh. Or tiny house, gain one potion, obtain thirty gold, raise your max HP, and gain one card. Um. Whenever you lose one HP, draw one card. That might not be bad. 
Oh wait, max HP is lowered by 20%. Oh my god. <clears throat> and the runic pyramid here at the end of your turn you no longer discard your hand might be a problem actually and we draw one less card these relics are actually kind of negative the best one here might be the tiny house to be honest with you it might be the tiny house okay we'll take it we'll take it we'll take it I don't know I mean that, that seems like the best option gain five block and upgrade all cards in your hand for us combat that's not that important this one is huge. And this one is interesting. Upgraded, this one probably will do double damage. I would imagine. For 3 HP. I like this one better. This one, this one's coming handy a lot. Okay. And that will do it. Close that out and proceed to the next area. And that will do it for this area. So, the beyond is what we have next time. Thank you guys so much for checking out this episode. It's going to be a longer one. And these are going to be kind of long now that I'm... Uh, I'm going to stick to one area per episode and not break them up. So I hope you guys don't mind the longer episodes, but uh, it is what it is. And, uh, you know, let the comments be heard down below if I made any misplays or anything like that. You guys have been good about pointing those out. And I do learn from my mistakes. So I've, as you see, I'm in playing a little bit smarter, I think, now than I used to be. And uh, the run somehow continues. Barely. I don't know. We're, we're continuing longer than we have any, any right to be, I think, at this point. But we'll be back for more next time. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you later.